In the area of science and gigantic mysteries, the subject of what existed previously to the gigantic explosion has blended conversations and intrigued characters for quite a while. This huge request doesn't just test how we could decipher the universe. It challenges the genuine furthest limits of human knowledge. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, looking into the colossal shadowing and pondering what lay there before our universe was imagined. The event of the Big Bang marked the beginning of time, space, and all that we know. Anyway, was there a second earlier? Previously this, could there have been a condition of nothingness? A calm before the cosmic gathering started? And if this is true, was it, or perhaps there was something much more alarming that existed previously, before time itself? As we jump further into this question, science takes us on a journey past the universe's beginning point into thoughts that challenge our consciousness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his investigation into the wonder of the universe, suggests that something surprising might have existed before the enormous detonation. He moves us to reconsider our thought of reality and existence. In this examination, we'll dissect the science, the speculation, and the dazzling insider secrets that might make sense of what existed preceding all that. We'll explore thoughts like self-important development, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we've revealed might just paralyze you, yet they could likewise open new understandings of our position in the universe. Get ready to jump deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the obscure still winds around the shadows, leaving scientists floored and sometimes even upset. We ought to explore what existed before the Big Bang and why these theories challenge all that we thought we knew. To appreciate what may have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to painstakingly analyze what the Big Bang truly was. The Big Bang, as scientists define it, refers to the moment when the universe became extremely hot and dense, growing rapidly to set off the development of all matter, energy, and boundless forces. When we look toward the night sky, we see proof of this hot beginning, with galaxies spreading out this way and that from an early stage point. However, for what reason did this happen? Furthermore, was there a period before this thick, hot start? As indicated by the theory of enormous expansion, there was without a doubt a before, and it was not even close to void or peaceful. Vast expansion suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, vacant, and loose, essentially like an immense vacuum. Anyway, this vacuum wasn't entirely unfilled. It contained a gigantic amount of energy that fueled the quick extension of space itself. This extension, called inflation, happened so rapidly that it basically established the groundwork for all that would continue, in a part of a subsequent space extending at unfathomable rates, until the extension slowed down and the energy changed into matter particles and the forces we see as the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? For what reason did it suddenly grow the universe? And why did it stop? Specialists believe that this inestimable expansion made patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric extending endlessly, with minuscule air pockets forming here and there, each air pocket representing a universe, including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are possibly limitless Big Bangs and an infinite number of universes. Our own is just one of many. This huge, mind-bending reality challenges our understanding of the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not real. At any rate, as per our current understanding, regardless of whether you eliminate all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be genuinely void. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that weave an inevitable embroidered artwork of something, even in its most vacant structure. Regardless of whether we imagine stripping away all of these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still generate new kinds of energy. This reality alone is bewildering to specialists, as it suggests that true nothingness, nothingness, might be impossible within our infinite comprehension. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being totally empty. Imagine creating a region with literally nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, and no energy, except quantum fields and major constants. These would still exist, suggesting that this nothingness has properties. For instance, there's a peculiarity called zero-point energy, 
which represents the least possible energy condition of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still momentarily appear and evaporate, making a spooky resonance of movement even in what should be empty space. This challenges our idea of a real void and suggests that, yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something that scientists are only beginning to understand. One of the most astounding theories in current cosmology is the chance of timeless expansion. If inflation could cause our universe to exist, it's possible it could continue forever. Brian Cox describes an astonishingly vast inflationary multiverse, where universes are infinitely created and continue expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a flash, lighting another universe, while inflation continues in different areas, making countless other universes. This cycle could, in theory, go on for eternity. This idea of vast universes gives birth to an enchanting concept of a fractal universe, where each new universe might actually make its own Big Bang. Every universe exists as a separate, independent domain, unaffected by the others because of the rapid expansion of space. For researchers, this hypothesis is both exciting and upsetting, as it suggests a never-ending multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe being just one bit in a giant cosmic structure, forever expanding and constantly making new universes. And what if the disturbing reality is that there is no before or after, but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and decaying? How we may interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe is not just an assortment of matter floating in space. Rather, it's a complex network of energy fields that fill the universe, connecting to create all that we observe. These fields are like invisible seas, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and disappear in these fields, momentarily acquiring energy before returning it. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, substances that immediately exist and then vanish, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The concept of virtual particles challenges the idea of a real void. Imagine an empty universe, where all matter, radiation, and energy are removed. Would you have total nothing? This, according to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain active, sometimes creating transient particles. This constant movement in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't recognize our concept of emptiness. The fields and forces endure, filling the universe with a hidden energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises an intriguing question. If fields make particles and particles make matter, could the universe itself have emerged from this nothing filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is a mysterious force that currently drives the accelerated expansion of our universe. But did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? From certain perspectives, the fact that dark energy exists today is a leftover of an energy field from before our universe's development. The properties of dark energy seem to suggest a colossal hidden force that might have existed in some form prior to the Big Bang. Some theories suggest that dark energy, in a much stronger state, could have controlled the inflationary stage, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy suggests that Regardless of whether our universe were exhausted of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to expand the fabric of space-time. This thought leads to an upsetting question. If dark energy was present before the Big Bang, could it have formed the circumstances that led to the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the silent architect of inflation, or even the true beginning of our universe? As we explore this possibility, we face the potential of dark energy not just as a force shaping our universe, but as a key that could unlock the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another theory that offers an alternative to the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning is cyclic cosmology, the idea that the universe goes through endless cycles of birth, death, and resurrection. In this model, the Big Bang is not a one-time event, but rather part of a timeless rhythm where universes expand, collapse, and then regenerate in another cycle. This theory suggests that our universe might have been reborn from the remnants of a past universe. The process of contraction and expansion in a cyclic pattern would mean that there was never a true beginning, but rather an eternal series of universes emerging, growing, and renewing themselves over and over again. Cyclic cosmology raises significant questions about time, 
as it suggests that time itself might be cyclical rather than linear. If this theory is correct, it could mean that what exists before the Big Bang was just another version of the universe, one that collapsed only to give birth to our current universe. For researchers, this theory offers a rich answer to the question of ultimate origins, proposing that there is no true beginning. The universe has always existed in some form, transcending our ideas of time and existence. Early-stage gravitational waves are another intriguing idea that could hold clues to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events, and scientists believe early-stage waves, if ever detected, could reveal insights into the universe's earliest moments. These waves could serve as the echoes of what came before the Big Bang. Should they be identified, they might provide proof of the universe's previous states. The potential discovery of early-stage gravitational waves is one of the most exciting possibilities in cosmology today, as it might not only reveal the truth about the Big Bang, but also offer a glimpse into the cosmic state before our universe was born. This theory offers a tantalizing prospect, detecting gravitational waves that could act as fingerprints of a pre-Big Bang universe. As we continue to explore what could have existed before the Big Bang, we delve into concepts that push the boundaries of our understanding, challenging even our most fundamental assumptions about space, time, and existence itself. One of the most mind-boggling ideas comes from the realm of quantum gravity, a field that seeks to merge quantum mechanics with general relativity. This merger could potentially reveal a unified theory of everything and might offer insight into what existed before the Big Bang. Quantum gravity suggests that space and time are not smooth, continuous entities as we experience them, but instead are discrete, granular structures. This theory posits that the fabric of space-time itself could have been formed from a microscopic Planck scale structure, with tiny quantum fluctuations shaping the universe in ways we cannot yet fully comprehend. In this view, what we perceive as the smooth continuum of space and time might have only emerged from these fluctuating quantum fields. Thus, the before the Big Bang could be described by a radically different concept of reality, one where space and time themselves were not fully formed. Another possibility is that the universe is part of a vast cosmic landscape of possible universes, each with different physical laws and constants. This theory, known as the string landscape, arises from string theory, which suggests that all fundamental particles are actually tiny, vibrating strings. In this framework, there are many possible configurations of these strings, each corresponding to a different set of physical laws. The string landscape could imply that our universe is just one of many, each emerging from its own distinct Big Bang-like event. The existence of such a landscape also brings forth the notion that other universes might have different dimensions, different strengths of gravity, or even different types of matter. In this view, our universe might not be unique, but rather part of a multiverse, a collection of universes, each evolving independently. The multiverse theory provides a speculative yet fascinating answer to the question of what came before the Big Bang. Another universe, in a different configuration, potentially leading to infinite cycles of creation and destruction with no definitive origin. In addition to these cosmological models, some theoretical physicists have also considered the role of black holes in shaping the nature of the universe. A hypothesis gaining attention is that our universe could be the result of a black hole formed in another universe. In this scenario, the singularity at the center of a black hole could serve as a gateway to another universe, with the Big Bang being the moment when such a black hole gave birth to our cosmos. This hypothesis is supported by the fact that, according to general relativity, the singularity at the center of a black hole is a point where space and time curve infinitely, creating a region where the known laws of physics break down. It's possible that the extreme conditions inside black holes could lead to the creation of new universes, which may suggest that what we consider the Big Bang was just the birth of our universe from the singularity of an ancient black hole. Exploring these concepts requires a deep dive into the very nature of time itself. Some cosmologists speculate that time, as we understand it, may have had no meaning before the Big Bang. If time began with the Big Bang, then there may have been no before in any conventional sense. According to this view, time itself might have emerged from a quantum fluctuation or from a primordial state, where the usual distinctions between past, present, and future did not apply. This could lead us to rethink the concept of causality, which relies on the assumption that events happen in a linear sequence. 
If time did not exist in the way we experience it, then the question of what came before the Big Bang becomes nonsensical, as there would be no temporal framework to support it. Further complicating the picture are theories of cyclic time. As mentioned previously, cyclic cosmology suggests that the universe undergoes endless cycles of birth, evolution, and eventual collapse. In this model, the Big Bang could represent just the most recent bounce in an eternal series of universe cycles. These cycles might not be identical, but could evolve in different directions, each with unique physical properties. The cycle of the universe, according to this theory, would be a continual process with no true beginning or end, rendering the question of before the Big Bang meaningless in the conventional sense. The idea that time itself might be cyclical suggests that every Big Bang could be followed by a contraction and another big crunch, with the universe reinitiating itself in an endless loop. Another avenue of investigation into the nature of the cosmos is the potential of a primordial soup of particles and fields that existed before the formation of stars and galaxies. This concept suggests that, before the universe began its rapid expansion, it was filled with a dense and hot mixture of elementary particles, including quarks, leptons, and bosons, all in a state of extreme energy. These particles would have been interacting at very high temperatures and densities, laying the groundwork for the formation of matter and energy as the universe cooled. Some versions of this theory suggest that this primordial soup existed in a quantum foam, where particles constantly emerged and vanished due to the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. The properties of the soup could potentially offer insights into the universe's earliest moments, and by extension, what preceded the Big Bang itself. Ultimately, what existed before the Big Bang remains one of the most profound mysteries in science. As our understanding of quantum mechanics, cosmology, and fundamental physics deepens, new theories will continue to emerge, offering increasingly complex and sometimes paradoxical explanations for the origins of our universe. While we may never fully grasp what came before the Big Bang, the pursuit of this knowledge will continue to stretch the limits of human curiosity, driving us to explore the unknown frontiers of existence.